here, you just need to focus on the benefits of different HR management practices. Explain the benefits of different HRM practices within an organisation for both the employer and the employee. First of all, let's look at staff induction programmes. In simple terms, these various activities help make sure a new employee becomes as productive as they can be as quickly as possible. They help make sure a new employee knows exactly what they need to do, how to do it and where to go if they need help, which benefits both employer and employee. A good induction programme can help alleviate any uncertainty and anxiety new employees inevitably feel when they start a new job. They help new employees quickly get to know and start to build relationships at, with existing staff and customers. I know someone who has just started a new job in Beijing and undergone a week of induction, including being shown how to navigate the Beijing metro. Imagine how difficult it would have been for her to start this new job 8,000 miles away from home without this induction program. Let's now look at performance evaluation. Some of the many advantages are the fact that it allows an employer to monitor an employee's progress over time and against any targets or goals they have set. It allows the employee to see what their own strengths and weaknesses are and the progress they're making. It gives a manager the opportunity to provide feedback and to set or review targets. It also gives the employee the chance to discuss any performance issues they have with their manager. And finally, Having a performance evaluation system in place helps ensure fairness and equality in the workplace. These are just a couple of examples. There are, of course, many other HR management... <coughs> These are just a couple of examples. There are, of course, many other HR management practices you can consider like reward systems, workforce planning, disciplinary and grievance procedures, which you can write about in your assignment.